Hi, it's Kathy the Crafty Chica, and I'm going to show you how to make these really cool candelarias for your ofrenda for Day of the Dead. I started off with these candle jars that I bought at Dollar Tree, and then I found the candlesticks at Michael's. I used an alcohol pad to remove all of the stickers, and then I used E6000 on the top of the candlesticks so that I could glue it to the bottom of the candle jar. After that, you want to make sure it's centered, let it dry for about an hour. You want to make sure they're super secure because they're glass. After that, you can paint them or embellish them however you want. You could you coat them with glitter using Mod Podge or spray paint. I went for multi-purpose multi craft paint. And I love multi-purpose craft paint because you could use it on glass or ceramics. It already has the sealer built into it, but you could use regular craft paint and then use a brush on varnish to seal it down. I only painted three sides of these because on the front that's where I'm going to glue the embellishment. I happen to have these Day of the Dead ornaments and I thought it would be cute to make a set of these. I just happened to have two of them. It worked out perfect. I got them at Tesoro's Trading Company. You can find them online but really any kind of embellishment will do. I used hot glue to affix the ornaments to the front of the candelarias. You could also use E6000. If you use E6000, make sure to use masking tape from the top and bottom so that they don't slide. I like these ornaments because they're so tall. They just give more of a statement look. And I think they will look so beautiful on an ofrenda to honor a loved one who has passed away. I put in a silk marigold inside each one and then I put two tea lights. You could also use them as candy jars, whatever you want, but I just love the warm, glowy look that they give. These are gonna look so beautiful for Dia de los Muertos. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and visit CraftyChica.com for even more ideas.